Chris, thank you. Um, I'll do this jointly with Mark. Uh, I am very pleased that ICE has joined uh, the coalition and obviously we, I get to do this together with a, a, a fellow association. Uh, so this is a, a really a pleasure for me. Uh, we can go right to the next slide. Um, the, you have heard some of the reports from the finance track, the guidance tools standards track uh, so that, that they've progressed on and are, you know, you, you already were served up the first entree, if you will. And I, by my own admission, we're going to still be serving you an appetizer in, in this one. Uh, we've had two meetings over the last year. And I want to, I, I presented before at one of our meetings the details of how we would begin the research. So I'm, I'm not going to do that again. But I want to remind everybody that that we really want this to be a heavyweight activity, not a lightweight activity. And by that I mean, I, I, I observe lots of innovation activity that just kind of nibbles around the surface of, of issues. And we really want to do two key things. One, we want to provoke people to consider new ideas and actually look for disruptive effects. Now, if you do that alone, you simply create your next mediocre science fiction story that has nothing behind it. So additionally, we want to think very deeply about the trends that are happening now and how they are projected out over a long period of time, guided by some pretty deep research into that. And again, we don't want to just do that because in the past, my observation is that kind of research typically ends up with a lot of gray beards like me, and the future is amazingly similar to the present. We really have to do both. We have to provoke ourselves to think differently, but then with sufficient rigor so that we create plausible solutions for the future. And then finally, we want to put those things into practice which mirrors the theme of the coalition uh, to create action. And again, find ways to create testable pilots, things that could be beta tested, enhanced, funded, working with the uh, finance track, or other things so that we can in fact generate quick lessons learned and keep iterating, not waiting for the big giant solution but really get this moving around the globe at a grassroots level, but being provocative and thoughtful at the same time. So that's the overlay to what we're working on. Next slide. In our meetings, we decided we would accomplish this with two separate and parallel activities. One is taking that research and generating the kinds of trends that ought to be focused on if we're to accomplish creative solutions and a search for champions, places that might be doing that. I'm gonna probably turn this over and share this with Mark. He has agreed to head up the trend and innovation part of it and let him just take a minute to describe, you know, why that was attractive for ICE and, and, and the, the description that's here and then I'll cover the other one. Jerry? And uh, hi, everybody. Um, yeah, I, I think it's, as, as Rachel has said right at the top of, of today's session, it's, it's fantastic that uh, ICE is engaging with, with, with ICSI and, and, and coming on board. And in, in coming on board, we, we, you know, we absolutely want to be um, an active and, and, and vigorous participant. So very, very pleased to be um, leading on this um, innovation um, trend um, element of, of, of it and, and I think what so what we've we, we've been done since since um, Jerry and I talked about as, as taking taking getting involved in this is it's kind of had a done a bit of a kind of a, a sense check I, I suppose um, I think one of the things or I hope one of the things that ICE can can bring to to, to ICSI is is the ICE's kind of sort of global reach in, in, in perhaps parts of the world that ASCE is 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 less active in and and certainly in the sort of the kind of the, the former Commonwealth um, parts of the world 
Um, and 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 I guess through that heritage, we 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 have a an, an, a, we work with and 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 do a, do a lot of the management of uh, some some important groups such as Commonwealth Engineers Council. We also work with European Council of Civil Engineers, um, and we also have a role with um, the World Federation of Engineering Organisations Sustainability um, um, Committee. So we've got the options and we've had the opportunity to kind of sense check what we're trying to do with, with some key players in, in some of those organizations and and with a view to really try and make sure that when we are looking at these um kind of innovative trends that we are looking truly globally and we are looking for solutions and trends which are, apply to both the developed and the developing world it's really i think important to all of us i think that's important to the, the whole ICSI family. Um, so we've been doing that and we are in the process right now of getting together um, a kind of a, a formal um, work group to sort of now actually do that, as Jerry says, that real kind of deep dive, re reflect on, on the work that has already been done, very much taking um, ASCE's um, future trends um, work as, it, as, its kind of, as its kind of basis um, and really kind of testing how that applies across the world. Um, and across different types of communities and really we're the tension is uh, from from today we will get our first meeting into in in the diary before christmas and so i guess what i wanted to to leave with is i think we've got a good group um joining us i know, I know chris who's just been speaking is joining us and is a part of part of that group and, and some others on this call today um, but really it's an open invitation um, anyone who would like to get involved and help us seek out and determine what are these key innovation um, and, and trends which, which we should be focusing our efforts on. And then once we have identified those early part of next year, then the real important bit begins around finding some, some fantastic um, potential projects which we can use as case studies. And that will be our kind of work through late spring, summer. Um, and so, yeah, anyone who would like to get involved with that, please um, drop me a line and uh, we will get you involved in our first meeting in the next few weeks' time. And, okay. uh, yeah, back to you, Jerry. Thank you, Mark. Um, so uh, that's great. I, I knew we had the right partner for this, Mark, when, when you staffed this uh, around um, uh, ICE and, and your big thinkers, and you came back and you grilled me with the most aggressive and brilliant questions, challenging every step of our process, and I knew we had the right group of thinkers uh, on both sides of the Atlantic working on this, so my, my thanks. On the search for champions, Edgar Westerhoff from Arcadis has agreed to lead that effort, but we are still working to round out that group. Again, we want to drive this with the idea of finding the innovations we should focus on for sustainability and resilience. But at the same time, we do want to keep informed on those bright spots around the globe where we might see some champions ready to take those projects or having already taken some steps toward that. And the two inform each other. Uh, so I want to go to the next slide and I'll cover the status and then we'll go to some questions. Um, again, Mark has covered the trend and innovation ideas we have sorted between ICE and ASCE, kind of a, a first look at that, but now Mark will engage the team to really start digging down into a short list. And we have rounded out the team already to make it a pretty robust, but as Mark said, while we're staffed, we're always open to more. Here's my request on behalf of myself and Edgar. Um, we found the volunteers who uh, signed up for the Search for Champion team to be lopsided. They were almost all from consulting civil engineering, environmental engineering firms, and we really need a balanced team that has government and NGO participants. So this is my formal request for those of you who might be in that category. We don't wanna launch that effort without that right balance. We also need some, some staff support because some of this research has to be uh, kind of drilled into a little bit and we're looking at various ways to do that. And lastly, when you're dealing with existing areas of innovation, we have to have some rules of the road defined in order for people to sh uh, comfortably share 
what might be considered intellectual property by some. So we have some hurdles to clear on that particular activity. We uh, welcome all input on that <clears throat> and all volunteers. And I will be working with Edgar to get that launched when we solve those problems. <clears throat>